Hey everybody, I have the scaffolding attached to the 9N tractor in front of the building getting ready to do the gable at this end of the building. Now, you'll notice something that I did here. Let's see if I'll be in the picture there if I walk out there to explain something. You'll notice here, if you, comp if you compare this back to the first video on the gable series, if you go back there and look, I had the tower flush with the corner of the building. What you'll also notice if you go back and watch that video is that given the height of the tower where I'm sitting or standing and this end of the gable, it's almost impossible to scrunch down and do the work while you're stuck underneath the overhang sitting on the deck up there. So I've got it a little bit away from the back corner of the building, sorry. I'm going to put my ladder here and I'll be able to use and work from my ladder. Only need to do it here and at that corner in order to attach the trim pieces and the first set of siding up here. And then I'm off the ladder and I'm using the scaffolding for the rest of the work. So it's something that I learned from doing the other gable at the other end of the building and um, a little ladder work is okay. Again, overall the scaffolding is fantastic and it's allowing me to get the work done, period. Because if I did not make this scaffolding or, and or if this scaffolding, scaffolding did not work, i.e. it was too wobbly um, or if it leaned too much, I would have had to bring in a crew to do this because I would not have felt comfortable putting on that sheet metal at the end of a ladder 12 feet off the ground and in fact probably higher than 12 feet when you begin to look at the uh, the uh, middle of the gable up there. Okay let's start to get busy and put in the uh, trim work as a first step.
this is great. What's happening is that these are the offcuts from the panels on the other side. So you cut a diagonal panel for the other side, the offcut becomes the panel that fits in here. The bonus, of course, is that these are going up super fast. Like, I literally don't have to spend numerous minutes with each panel inside measuring and cutting. They're all ready to go. And this one here, I did not punch it because I wasn't sure that it was going to fit and that if it needed some kind of trimming. But there you go. Okay, everybody, welcome up to the top of the scaffolding today. As I said earlier, it is a cloudy day. And what I'm going to do now over the next 20 to 30 minutes is get as much of the soffits in place before I need to move the tower forward. I'll get another piece. I can't. I need to get some trim in place there. Yeah, let's get that soffit in place. This turns out to be pretty satisfying work and much more satisfying, for example, than installing the blocking here. Because when you install the blocking, it really doesn't look like you've done very much, even though the blocking brings this part of the building flush with the girts down below. This type of installation, putting these soffit pieces in, it changes the look dramatically. It's a very easy thing to do. Of course, you've got to build yourself a scaffolding to get up here, but that's why it adds to the satisfaction. Just the, the fact that you're doing something that results in such a rapid transformation of this building that I've been putting together for the last, oh, what is it now? The better part of a year and a half? So satisfaction helps with the motivation. Let's keep going.
it's time to move the scaffolding forward because I need to get another trim piece in place. Turn on the fuel. Thanks for joining me for another video. At the end of the day, I was about halfway through this gable end of the building. The scaffolding is working perfectly. It's allowing me to get these sheets up safely and efficiently. The big news here is that this building is nearly weather tight. I'm nearly complete with all this metal siding. I'll get it done in the next video. Please come back for more. Enjoy having you around and remember to subscribe, like, and share.